Hello, welcome to Free School Exam Preparation. Today, welcome to talk about the Excel International AS and A levels, Pure Mathematics Two. In this lecture, we'll discuss the challenge questions in the textbook for Chapter Eight, Integration. Okay, so the first question is on page one five five of the textbook. So we have this integration equals to seven. We want to find out the value of the positive k. So we'll have three x plus two. Eight dx. So this one will be three over sixteen x squared plus one over four x plus c. Right? Can we do a verification? So we do the、um, derivative. So will be three times two over sixteen x squared and plus one over four. So these two cancel out. Three over eight x、uh, x. Okay. So it's correct. So we have k three k. Three x plus two eight dx equals to three x squared over sixteen plus x over four, and here we have k three k. Okay, so this will be three times three k squared over sixteen plus three k over four, and minus three k squared over sixteen plus k over four. So we'll have sixteen, and on the top we have twenty-seven minus three, so will be twenty-four k squared. And here we have k over two equals to seven. Is that twenty-four? Okay, so we divide eight, so three two. So we have three k squared plus two k minus fourteen equals to zero. So we have three one two. Seven and negative, so、I、have k equals to two or negative seven over three because it's positive. So we have k equals to two. Okay, next question. So this question is on page one five nine. So we have f x and we want to find out the area between the graph and x axis. So we draw the graph of y equals to f x. It will be something like this. We have this point zero, and this point is three zero. Okay, so this area we'll just use the integration from zero to three, um, three x minus x squared, and then dx. So we、we'll、have three over two x squared minus x cubed over three, and then from zero to three. So we plug in the value. We、we'll、have twenty seven over two. Minus twenty seven over three, and then minus zero. So this will be six on twenty seven, and we can divide three will be nine over two. So that's for one. For b here, y equals to two f x. So we can think about this is a stretch, right? Um,、oh, vertically. So this will be zero three two times three x minus x squared dx. So we take out two, and then we have this thing equals to nine over two. So it will be nine. Okay. So if we have a stretch vertically with scale factor equals to k, so the area,、um, I mean the new area, will be k times the old area. Okay, next one. So y equals to a times f x. That's exactly the finding here, right? So the area will be nine、uh, a over two. Or if you want to do a calculation, so this will be zero to three because these two points are still on x axis. So we、we'll、have、uh, a three x minus x squared dx. So we take out this a, so will be a nine a over two. Okay, next question. Question D. So y equals to f x plus a. So this is a translation, and the translation vector here will be negative a zero. Let's just assume a is greater than zero. So in this case, the graph will be shifted to the left, and nothing else has been changed. So we guess the area will still be the same as the previous area, nine over two. Okay, so maybe we can do a verification. So the zero zero point will go to here, right? Which is negative a zero, 
And this 3, 0 will go to here, which is 3 minus a, 0. And the graph will be like this. Okay, so the integration from negative a to 3 minus a. And what is fx plus a? So it will be 3x plus a. We just change the x here to x plus a. And minus x plus a square. And together, dx. Okay, so we'll have um, negative a. Let's just open this, sorry. So we'll have 3 over 2 x plus a uh, square, right? Because if we do the derivative, this will be canceled out. So it will be 3 times x plus a. Okay, and here will be minus 3 uh, is as a denominator x a cubed. And then we'll have the top 3 minus a, and here is negative a. Okay, so we plug in the value. We have 3 x plus x becomes 3 minus a. So it's 3 times uh, 3 squared over 2. And a minus, so x change to 3 minus a, 3 cubed, right? And this whole thing minus, so we plug in negative a, negative a, which is 0. So this will be uh, 9, 27 over 2, minus 27 over 3. So this is 9 over 2. Okay, that's correct, our guess. So the translation will not change the area. So the area stays the same. This is a translation horizontally, right? So we just say horizontal translation area now changed. Okay, so next one. So y equals to fax. So this is a stretch, and it's stretched horizontally. So the scale factor will be 1 over a. So here we call it a k, right? So we can guess. If a is a number greater than 1, so in this case, the area will be shrinked. So we guess the new area will be the scale factor. That's right here. Um, new area will be the scale factor times the old area. So in this case, the new area or this one's area will be 9 over 2 times the scale factor. And the scale factor equals to 1 over a. So we guess it's 9 over 2a. But we need to verify this. So now we do um, integration. Because this point is still 0, 0, right? This point becomes, so it's shrinked. So it goes to 3 over a, 0. You can think about this. f a times 3 over a equals to f3, which is 0. Okay, so the new graph will be something like this. Okay? So we can do the integration from 0 to 3 over a. And the function is still 3x minus x squared dx. So this will be 3x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 3. And then from 0 to 3 over a. So we plug in the value 2 over 3 times 9 a squared. And a minus, so 3, here we have 27 and a cubed. And 0 is just 0. So we'll have, um, sorry, give me one second, a squared minus a cubed. Oh, sorry, actually this function is no longer, sorry, it's, it's wrong. So the function is no longer fx, right? So we have to redo this, 0, 3 over a. So the function is ax. So in this case, it will be 3ax minus, uh, so x we change to ax, so a squared, x squared, right? Sorry about this. And then this whole thing, dx. OK, so here we'll have 2 over 3a, x squared, minus 3a squared, x cubed. And then this is from? 0 to 3 over a. And 0, everything is 0. So we only need to plug in the 3 over a. So 3a over 2. And then we have 9 over a squared. And here is a squared over 3. And then we have 27a cubed. OK, so we'll have 27 over 2 and minus 27 over 3 and times 1 over a. So it will be 9 over 2a. Okay, so next question. It's on page 173 of the textbook. 
So we have this curve showing up here, and we have two S1 and S2, they are the same. We want to find out the point A's coordinates. Okay, so for um, this point, we know it's negative two, right? This is zero, this is one. So let's say A's coordinates are A, and then we plug in the value A, A minus one, A plus two. Okay, so for S1, it will be from a to zero, and then we have this equation of uh, this function here, so which is x x cube x squared plus x minus two, so it will be x cube plus x squared minus two x dx. Okay, so this one will be four x four, three here x three minus x squared, and then on the top we have zero and we have a, so it will be negative. A4 over 4 plus A3 over 3 minus A squared. Okay, and then we have S2. So this is from 0 to 1. And then, but because it's negative, right, it's below the x-axis, so we have to put a negative sign here for this area. So, and then we have X uh, cubed plus X squared minus 2X dx. So we'll have negative, and then inside here we'll have um, X4, 4. 4 x3, 3, three minus x squared, and 0 to 1. Okay, so this thing will be negative, so 1 over 4 plus 1 over 3 minus 1. So will be negative, uh, so this will be, uh, here will be 7, 5 over 12. Okay, so we have these two equal, so a4 over 4 plus a3 over 3 minus a squared will be negative 5 over 12. So if it times 12 on both sides, and then we'll have the a is one of the solution, is a solution of this equation, which is 3x4 plus 4x3 minus x squared, and then plus 5 equals to 0, 12x squared. Okay, so that's how we get this equation, right? And then we just need to find out what will be a. So if you look at this one, when x equals to 1, this thing equals to 0, the left-hand side. So we know x minus 1 is a factor of this expression. So we can do a long division, 3x4 plus 4x cubed minus 12x squared plus 5. So x minus 1, 3x3, so 3x4 minus 3x cubed, and then we have 7x3 minus 12x squared, plus 7x squared, 7x cubed, minus 7x squared. So we have negative f, uh, 5x squared. And then because we don't have x, so we don't need to write anything, and minus 5x, so minus 5x squared, plus, um, so minus 5x, okay, so plus 5x. Okay, so we have negative 5x plus 5, minus 5, and then we have equal to 0. So this left-hand side can be written as x minus 1 times this thing. And this one has a factor x minus 1 as well, because if we plug in the value of x equals to 1, it's 0. Okay, then we have 3x cubed plus 7x squared minus 5x minus 5, and then x minus 1. So 3x squared, 3x cubed minus 3x squared, so 10x squared minus 5x plus 10x, so we have 10x squared minus 10x, so we have 5x minus 5, so plus 5. Okay, so we'll have 3x squared plus 10x plus 5 equals to 0. So there are two repeating solutions, uh, x equals to 1. So now we look at this one, right? So we have x equals to 6, negative 10, plus minus square root of 10 squared minus 4 times 15, so 40. So it will be... 3, negative 5, plus minus, so here will be, we take out 4, 10. Okay, so there are two solutions. One is a minus. So if it's minus, this thing will be smaller than negative 2. So it will be to the left of this negative 2 point, which does not make sense. So in this case, we know A should be negative 5 plus square root of 10 over 3. And then you can plug in the value into this function. We'll get the y coordinate of the um, a. Okay, so that's all the questions.
We hope you have enjoyed our lectures and wish you good luck with your exam. If you are interested, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Free School Exam Preparation. Thank you.